Hello doll friends and family. Welcome back to Super Buddies Forever and another installment of our Jean Marshall stuff and memoirs of me collecting these. This is two dolls. Now I told you I'm not going to be hunting dolls and I'm not. One was my anniversary present and one was a wicked deal. So I want to show them to you a little more thoroughly for those who are interested. This is the I do one quickly so you know. I do one. Oh, that was not a good deal. There's the I do one, and um, we'll go over her, and I want to take her and fix her hair. You've already seen her for a glimpse, so I'm not going to show her fully. What I do want to show is this, so you're not like, oh my god, Wendy, what are you doing? <laughs> this is one that I wanted the outfit, and I do want to hunt um, outfits that did come on a doll, not as a costume, and sometimes it's just going to work out that buying a whole doll is less. Okay, good, I had something I was hoping for. So in this case, that is what happened. This is Shooting Star. And it was $21. <laughs> there we go, Shooting Star. With that price, you know, I was not gonna complain to get the whole doll. And um, this is a pretty exquisite, um, out a uh, doll so that is or sorry not doll the outfit so um i never undid one of these i don't think yet oh yeah that's in there pretty simple so for this price i'll take the whole doll and what i said quickly uh a cool now let me see i have not got one yet that has the arms the arms articulated in the older ones this is an ashton drake and uh, she's not fully articulated, but she has the knees. My original, um, oh nice, my original one that I got, I put it away on display to remember that. And I hoped for my mannequin, something I can work and play with and uh, refer to to know was these knees and how they worked. So I'm glad to have that. I have yet to get anything that has Ashton Drake, the articulation there. Um, as you know, my other dolls are integrity, so they have there and here and there so that's that so shooting star exquisite outfit and that's what this is all about really as well boots cowboy boots um some of the boots look a little silly or at least they look silly in pictures they look a little better in pearl where's the other spur oh, okay the other spur is here good okay so that just pushes into there or is it attached Okay, so sometimes the boots look a little silly, but who cares? I was excited to have the boots. Oh, look at the spurs. They work. Everything about this is, it was just so pretty. Of course, I live in cowboy country, so that's kind of neat. And sometimes it just comes down to what I like. And for whatever reason, I like it. And this was one of them. Um, just details upon details. There's a pin there. She has a holster. Oh, she has a revolver, too. That is so cute. That was something I think I read about um, the details of the designers when they put something in like this, the little extra, it just made it um, better as a costume outfit and for sales and stuff. And I definitely do agree with that. This doesn't look like it's disintegrating, which is nice. Very nice, being it's the fake leather, but it's not the shiny. So pretty doll, same, same in terms of face, makeup, and hair color. Oh, she got a little defect on her nose or something's there. Um, so that's here nor there. It's more about the outfit as well. It has a wonderful little hat. Cool. So for this one, I am going to uh, just strip her down, put this in one of my boxes to play with later. And that is the end of that. Oh, it's got an extra stand. That's always helpful. It would be great for posing. So that's a uh, shooting star. I think I've covered it all pretty well. Now let's move on to the I Do. So the I Do was an anniversary present. She I am going to keep in, in her entirety how she was. That's how she came. She was displayed previously so she's um then uh she's a little messed up in the hair 
It's cool. Oh, look at how long that is. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. This really reminds me of my grandmother's 1940s wedding dress. It's a little different. I think the to having to hold one is a little closer, but the veil was cute. Did you know they rented those back in those days because money was so tight during that time? I think that's cool. I wanted to wear her wedding dress at one point, but she was too tiny. I'm a big boned, big shouldered kind of girl and I couldn't fit it. That's just a little side story I've thrown in there. So, um, wow, she's pretty. So all this time I've been waiting and waiting to take her in. Oh, she's got the articulated knees. And now I finally have taken her out of the box I am. Again, I'm happy to do this on my time when it's good for me because I can enjoy it so much more thoroughly. So although I thought this was discoloring, it is not. It is meant to be ivory, which is very nice. This is so pretty, the bouquet. Um, oh look, it's got all the details on the back that are sweet. I love all that stuff. Indicative of the time frame and details. Has anybody ever done genealogy and looked at old pictures of weddings? This is reminding me of that too. This look, the way that goes on is very nice. So basically I'm not giving you a lot of information, I'm just showing you. Um, just so you know that. For those who are new, they know I do those who've been here a while know that that's what I do with uh, doll reviews. I just let you take it in because you can see it. You got eyes. I'll answer questions if there's anything I haven't addressed that you'd like to know in the comments, of course. Happily, there's no kids in these videos. The comments are not being disabled. Disabled, oh, that's nice. So the shoe is made differently than most designed differently. It's very interesting how and what gets done with the ribbons. Cool. So that's, uh, she's very beautiful. And like I said, I'm going to fix her up. That's terrible to smell. Okay, her dress doesn't smell, so maybe it doesn't need to be washed. I thought it was dingy. I really did and thought I'd have to watch it, wash it, but that's the color. And um, that's great. So I'm going to strip her down. I'm going to redo her hair, though. I did do Monaco, if you watched in the past. I don't even think I've shown that to you. I guess it'll be shown in the display time of the cabinet. But I do want to do this hair. So I'm going to do this today. And the head smells a little like dusty, but not really. It's more about just doing it nice. This one has a Marilyn Monroe little flair to it, which I like. So this will give me on display my original redhead, uh, Jean. The Monaco is a brunette, and here's my blonde for uh, display purposes. While I'm here, I have her out, my one and favorite Jean articulated integrity one, and I'm going to fix her hair. I took it out of that net that hangs off the back back that I still don't know what it is. I'm going to fix her curls. That'll be really easy. So I thought maybe I'd take a second to share that with you too. Um, let's see the results of that. So let me uh, get to all this, putting this away, stripping that one down and getting her hair done. I took a few minutes to do a little research because I had a feeling that this thing, sorry for the light, had a proper name and um, how it went on. So it's more of a cap. And it went over the top of the hair more, showing less. I'm going to change up the way this came, the way the pictures um, show it. And um, yeah, that's what I decided to do. So that made a difference. And thank you to whoever posted those. Those are awesome. Appreciate you sharing. Glamour days. Um, that made me um, do her perm rods in such a way that I can press them down more. Like make the curls come down here and put the cap on top. And then you can see it from the front too. I really like that. Pretty easy. Um, if you watch all my Monster High hair videos, I just followed everything there and used my favorite um, dryer sheets. Cut up and soaked. Soaked away to get the fabric softener off of them. Um, soaked for perm sheets. It kind of helps the smell. And here's what I did to, helps if there is any smell. Here's what I did to Jean. Just made her curls a little better. I took uh, this side and rolled towards her face and this side rolled towards her face. This one should drop nicely and uh, should work out good. I'll take curls out. This hair is really interesting to um, work with. I swear it almost feels like real hair. The way real hair is kind of dry when wet, if that makes any sense. So, hoping these will look great. Quick full showing of how the perm rods were in the I Do Jean, in case anybody's interested, because some are. 
Here is when I took it out without messing with it. So you can see the actual flip in each of the curls and how by giving it some space at the top, um, it makes it fall down more right off the hop, which um, some of the ladies know, some of the gents who do doll hair don't know that. So I wanted to make sure I specified that. And I mean, not don't do hair, but we've been doing our hair since we were kids. You know what I mean? Ugh. So here it is now with the Juliet cap on in a more realistic way that I seen it in my head and most pictures show it even some genealogy pictures of my family and my kin back in the day. Um, I do love this more than I ever did now as well again you can see with the dropped curl flips now it fits under perfectly and frames her face in such a way that I think goes with the era. Um, much much more beautiful how happy I am that oh I just love her she's beautiful wow quick recap again on a jean calendar shot look at all the roller curls they're very tight it's very long hair so when I pulled it out um, the back is not necessarily so great some of these curls were a little limp which kind of can happen either A, because it's too long, or B, because I didn't let it sit in the water long enough to penetrate um, right down to the, what was the thickest in there, in the thickest. So I took some time with some product, um, probably gel and a little hairspray, and I finger twisted each one while spraying it to get the maximum proper curl and to get it to stay. Um, and it looks pretty good, pretty good. So let's jump over to I do again. Here's another detail for the reveal that was before how it came. I added some details to make it more what actually my grandmother's uh, bouquet was. This here is the final reveal for the whole thing as she was. Um, love the new backdrop for this era. She's stunning. She's absolutely stunning now put together. They do such a fantastic job on these dolls. And um, sometimes with it just a little more here and there, they look better. Maybe, especially this bouquet. Maybe they don't need it. But um, I'm just kind of a fan of that era. And I wanted that extra, extra on that um, bouquet. Because sometimes the bouquet, as my grandmother told me, had more showing so that it would cover the plainness of the dress, if that makes any sense, of the era. Because fabric was, um, fabric and accessories were expensive. So let's jump to Monaco. Here is a stock photo of the boring bouquet that came with. I definitely had to change that. I made it like this, which was a little bit more conducive to that era. Here's her before after. Remember, she was really cheap, I got her. So her hair was really a mess. She did not have a veil, didn't come with the veil. Um, jumping here, here's the rollers in case you need to know. Very simple. That is a homemade veil that I made because this one was so inexpensive it didn't come with one. So I made my own, which went to the floor. If I ever get one, maybe I'll change it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just hang it as a decoration. But for now, this is a stunning beauty that I absolutely love. Um, see the, the bouquet, just a little extra looks, well, extra. <laughs> And I think worth the time for me and my needs. Uh, you know, even from my Barbie life, I just love the wedding dresses the most. And um, it has a certain appeal. The hairstyle was very simple and the bouquet showed really well. I did research to make that little teeny weeny crown at the top. But that's kind of how it was then. And uh, there she is. So last but not least, the after shot of calendar shot. In her curls, I put a little ribbon, which was also the thing in those days. This hair is definitely a little too long for this style, um, but you know, what ifs? I'll deal with it. <laughs> totally deal with it. She looks cute in the pink, and I did that because, as promised, I wanted to do a comparison of the first one I got and basically the last jean I got, and the integrity toys versus the ashton drake and how they look the difference of the tan of course this was a special made jean they're beautiful i love that the fun that they're both in the pink and that made me switch everything around and go back to that so you know they can just show the 
first and the last. And for, not for children under 18, boom! These dolls come with little plastic nipples, kinda, and they look dumb. So I decided to add areolas and color to make them more realistic since they're like my baby dolls. I used nail polish and paint, dabbing the nail polish brush in the clear nail polish while it was sticky to give it texture. Works out well. They're beautiful. Jean, look what you started.